and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about the key autumn fall pieces you need in your wardrobe. And I actually have loads of fall fashion, autumn fashion video ideas for you. I've already started filming some styling videos and different hauls and outfit ideas and things like that. But I really kind of wanted to do this type of video first before we get into the other stuff for the rest of the season. So the reason that I want to do this video today is because over the last few weeks on my Instagram and even here on YouTube, I've been getting lots of comments and questions from you saying, I literally don't know where to start when it comes to autumn fashion. It's a new season it's right after summer it can be really confusing and I think that it's a bit overwhelming you need all these different things in order to create all your outfits but you kind of don't know where to start in getting them so I figured I'd do a video today to kind of break down in my opinion the key categories that you need in your wardrobe as your base so there's six different kind of outfit pieces behind me and I'm gonna just talk through them and you can kind of build your wardrobe you might only want one of them or or three of them or four of them whichever but I truly think that if you have these key staple pieces the rest is so much easier so let's get right into it okay so firstly all the pieces behind me are actually from Marks and Spencer's they're all available online and in store so I'll be able to link everything for you below and by the time this video goes live I'll already have gone back to Ireland to do an event I am like pre-recording this so I'll have content for next week but basically they got in touch with me a few weeks ago to come back to Ireland and host an event so I'm going back on Tuesday for like 24 hours to host an event um, in their store in Dublin which is really exciting and they also allowed me to choose some pieces from their site to style some looks for my blog. So this video isn't actually sponsored, they didn't ask me to do this video, but when I was styling up these looks for the blog posts and the Instagrams I was shooting, all I could think of was, without even realizing it, I actually chose really good pieces. Like I chose kind of all the categories that you need for autumn. So, so while I was doing it, I was like, okay, I have to do a video around this whole concept of having the right pieces in your wardrobe. And I'll use these Marks and Spencer's pieces that I got to demonstrate that to you. So first off, we'll get right into it because I feel like I've been talking a lot. Um, okay, so first off, I got this beautiful trench coat. Oh, it is so nice. And what I'll do, once I have a quick chat through things, I'll actually try it on and I'll show it to you on. But basically, it's a classic, trench coat actually my first proper trench coat i don't know what i've been doing these last few years in new york because it's perfect for autumn weather in new york but it's my first one i absolutely adore it it's a real true camel color it's actually a little bit more camely than it's coming out on camera i can just see here um it's quite long you'll see it on me lengthwise i'm five four five five so you'll see how it looks on me length it has the belt which you could kind of tie to the back for styling purposes or you could button it up and tie it across the front lots of different ways you can do it so let's see this on now all right here it is oh i actually love it so so much so for a trench coat there's obviously loads of different ways you can style it i'll definitely probably do more videos down the line about styling coats but with knitwear inside you could wear this with like a sweater dress and boots to the knee but just to show you i put on just a plain white t-shirt um black jeans my dior shoes and i just have usual accessories and then i have it open but i'll also show you closed as well this is a closed up i love a trench coat closed up i think for a more casual look it's nice open like with a white t-shirt but i think if i was wearing knitwear inside this i'd close it up fully and you can tie it as tight as you want with the belt and yeah just the fit is lovely like you can tell it's good quality it feels nice and light but still warm if that makes sense such a good piece you're going to see me in this so so much okay so then next moving on to knitwear my favorite part of this season this season i really really want to focus on investing in good knitwear because every year i switch out my knitwear for my summer clothes and vice versa and it's really only the good ones that last and the rest go to charity or i sell them on or whatever it is but it's the good ones that last so it just makes sense to only buy good knitwear that you have from year to year and yes it's a little bit more expensive but it lasts you so much longer so it actually makes so much more sense so this season i am determined to invest in more cashmere so i'm putting that in as a category here cashmere knitwear and look at this one i got it is the nicest 
baby blue color it's one of these like thin knits i would call it there's like the chunky knits and the thin one and these are brilliant for layering and for autumn i recommend these like when we're doing more winter hauls in a couple of months it'll be the chunky really heavy knits you're going to see me kind of talking to you about because obviously you need to be warmer but right now with a coat or a jacket and this style knit it's actually perfect it's warm enough so let's see this one on now so here it is you can see the fit is really nice i can confirm it's not itchy which is a big thing when it comes to knitwear for me i'm gonna put the sleeve down so you can see the sleeves are like not crazy fitted they're like a nice loose fit um the neck as well i really like because you know the way some pole necks like it's so hard to make it look right like the polo neck part is too big and you have to put it over so many times and it just doesn't sit very well but this one is just like made really well the quality is good i just paired it with a skirt here to show you it tucked in um it's not very long let me just show it to you oh so this is kind of how long it is um not fully fitted like i know you can get some pole necks that are like this but this is a little bit baggier which i think i actually prefer for someone's because sometimes when they're too fitted like this and they're thin they feel a bit of claustrophobic um so this is kind of airy which is good for this time of the year as well and yeah love love this i'm going to be buying as many cashmere knits as, as I can this season. Next on my list now is kind of like a beigey camel color. I think that just is a classic I'll have forever. Okay, and then no autumn wardrobe of mine anyway would be complete without some black skinny jeans. If you've been a follower for a while and from year to year, I'm sure you're thinking, yes, of course there's black jeans in this video, but honestly, I wouldn't be able to get dressed four out of seven days of the week <laughs> if I didn't have black jeans in autumn. So I picked up a new pair from my and Spencers. I'll write all the exact names down below and all the links and everything but it just says here super skinny and I got size 8 short so they do different lengths which is really good and I really recommend looking into the lengths like getting your proper lengths like a lot of brands do short regular tall so that really makes a difference and for someone who's like 5'4 five, 5'5 five, five, I always go for the short one so I'll show these to you on now. Right these are them on oh I love them they feel really soft um because they're not crazy like thick like there isn't that much of them so they sit really nice on my legs and they just feel good and they're kind of stretchy <laughs> so these are the kind of jeans you could wear on a plate for example because you know the way some jeans when you're sitting down they're so uncomfortable and you wouldn't really be able to wear them traveling or like for a long day but these are the kind of pair that you could they're like you can actually move in them um so just really plain they have a button zip they are pockets at the back they're actually real pockets not fake ones definitely recommend these ones in category number four i'm gonna talk to you about this suit so yeah these are the trousers it's like a check kind of print with a little bit of pink going through there's a velvet detail at the front um really nice button and the lining is actually really nice as well and the reason i'm putting a suit as a category in this video is that of course you can wear it as a suit and you're literally ready to go there and then outfit done but the good thing about getting a suit for autumn is that you're also going to get so much wear out of the trousers with other things you compare it with knitwear compare it with the shirt that i'm about to show you and then obviously the blazer can go with black skinny jeans or leather skirt and high knee boots like there's so many ways you can use a suit in autumn so I think that it's a great investment to have and I would kind of recommend to stay like neutral enough color so gray beige black um creams colors like that because you can really get a lot of wear and use out of them so I'll show you this on me now okay I am in love with this suit I can't tell you the fit the quality it feels good needs a bit of a steam now so just ignore that little wrinkle there but I've taken photos from my blog anyway so I will be able to show you some proper photos of this on soon it's just amazing and even if you didn't want to buy like this the whole suit you could just buy the blazer the blazer is fab like this is kind of like a burgundy velvet and it matches all these little details and the stripe along here but you could buy them as separate and wear the blazer separate and then wear the trousers with like knitwear a different kind of blazer coats a white t-shirt and runners really really versatile pieces category 
category number five it's actually another coat and this is it it is a plain black coat and as far as i know this also comes in a camel color well it did anyway when i was online so i'll double check and i'll put it down below if it does but yes this is another category that i truly think for autumn and into winter a good coat and i think that over the past few years i've definitely been guilty of buying like a million coats in autumn and winter and then it comes to the end of the season and i get sick of half of them and it's like such a waste of money i didn't get an awful lot of wear out of them so i think since last autumn winter i've just got really good at buying just a few good coats instead of like a million coats that i like i want coats that i love and that i know i will have for season after season after season because they're classic they're a classic shape they're a classic color and this kind of shape you'll see it on me now is a coat that i just think we should all have in our wardrobes it's long it's chic with so many things underneath different kind of boots you could wear with flats the options are endless so let me show you this one on now and here it is the most classic coat ever this just looks to me so expensive it feels designer like i think if i saw someone walk down the street in new york with this on and like hair slicked back big sunglasses you would think that they were somebody it's like that kind of coat it makes you feel a bit glam and like very chic when you wear it i just have it closed up now so it has buttons on the front here a cashmere knit inside it so you could see that it layers really nicely and let me just open it up now and i can show you it open so yeah this is how it falls then when it's open it would be really really nice with like a high-waisted trouser um i just have it on with boots to the knee and just the leather skirt i was wearing with this jumper earlier i actually don't have any coat like this i have black coats but they're kind of all to maybe here i this is my first like proper long kind of adult black coat i suppose you'd say i'm gonna be wearing this with everything over the next few months so you'll see me style it lots of different ways and with lots of different colors underneath and yeah like everything i will leave a link below okay and the last category of things i truly think you need in your wardrobe for autumn is the shirt category and obviously when it comes to shirts wearing one today it doesn't really matter what color once you invest in good shirts you will have them forever once you take care of them like i always like hand wash my shirts or i dry clean them and um, i really do take good care of them the ones i love because i want to keep them and i want to keep them looking well so obviously i have lots of white shirts i wear white shirts all the time but this season i think it's fun as well just to bring a little bit of color and I saw this online and it's, I wish you could feel it, it's like silky, it's so soft on your skin, just really, really nice and the good thing about these kind of shirts, because it's not too heavy, so you can layer it underneath a jumper or you can layer it underneath a blazer, tuck it into high-waisted jeans, wear it with a wide leg trousers, there's so many options for this style and because it's like this silky, it does feel a little bit more luxurious. So this one also comes in a few other colours, I think the pink was almost sold out i actually got it in quite a big size because it's all that was left um but there are other colors so i'll link that below and i'll show you this on now okay this is the shirt i just have it tucked in now just to show you um i have the sleeves open as well because i really like this kind of slouchy oversized look for autumn and you could wear you could probably wear like a little bit off the shoulder as well i have a bra on but just to show you um and then i'll tuck it out as well so you can see the length it is a bit oversized but i just love a good oversized shirt there's something kind of cool about it and effortless and then this material just feels so soft on my skin you can either have the sleeves down or you could like have them pushed up i actually like them open and bigger because when you wear a jumper over this you can see i love when you can see the sleeves come out if you get me and same with the blazer so i do like big shirts for that reason and obviously you can just tie it up and push them up if you want it to be more kind of fitted and this comes in a few other colors i'm really tempted to get the kind of creamy white color they have as well um and i think was it a blue there's definitely more colors i'll link it below so you can see a great one to have i know i said that was the last category but i do have um some shoes to show you i also did a shoe order when i ordered these clothes and it is kind of a category, I guess, because they are kind of all the same style. So I just put them here. Let me show you. You might have already seen some of these on my Instagram or like my stories. But the first is this pair. I'll just do one at a time because I only have two hands. Um, so the first is this pair. I love these. And it's this style of shoe that I'm talking about. I think for autumn, this is so great because 
yes you can wear lots of boots but some days here anyway it's a little bit warmer so you kind of just need like a shoe if you know what I mean and um, so I love these they have the kind of detailing at the front and then a small heel and a sling back and then the second pair like that style are these ones which are a tiny bit fancier um, they're like a see-through polka dot with a little kitten heel and a sling back I love these and they're very like Dior-esque which is kind of cool so that's the second pair and then last but not least are this pair I love these I love this kind of like deep angle here pointy toe a little bit of a heel and just a great staple shoe to have so I'll link all those below as well and that's everything guys I hope you enjoyed that I hope it was helpful I hope you like all the Marks and Spencer's pieces it's been so fun collaborating with them and I will actually be doing a blog post where I show you how I style some of these pieces in full look so that's part of the collaboration we're doing so keep an eye out for that because I know I've showed you kind of in the mirror already but you'll be able to see like proper professional pictures of me wearing them and I layer all the different pieces together and definitely stay tuned for more fall fashion autumn fashion videos this is my favorite time of the year to film and I have so much good stuff coming your way and if you have any ideas as well just let me know in the comments if there's specific type of videos that you'd like to see if you're struggling with a certain area of getting dressed or whatever it is just let me know and I'll get working on that as well so thanks as always for watching be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye